it, it's Saturday. It is almost three o'clock. Um, we didn't get that, that big turnout at our um, seller up, up, upgrade, move up seller seminar, but that's okay because I'm super excited to be able to show you this beautiful, beautiful home that Dr. Horton over here. I have Miss Aquila, and I have to get the other salesperson's name. Um, I met Miss Aquila um, with Dr. Horton over at Beach Tree, and now she has moved down to the Glen Eagles community. They have 11 lots left down here. They're starting at 424, so they are definitely specking everything out here just to finish this community out. So if you are in looking for um, a new single-family home, great community very close to everything um st charles mall is probably about five minutes away you've got um ball fields you've got soccer fields you've got parks um charles county kind of gives you a little bit of everything and it's super super green um we are right around around the corner from blue clap stadium that has a ton of events very family friendly it's always something to do over there on the weekends and the games are super cheap um and if you check out if you give me a call I have access to tickets sometimes with one of my amazing builder um, lender friends. So I'll show you guys around. Real quick. Don't don't duck out of the camera, Paul. I saw that. Don't duck out of the camera. I will get you. I'm talking to Paul Lancaster. He's trying to act like he doesn't do video. Nope, I'm not doing it. Did you guys hear Angie? Angie says no. Angie says tag her so she don't have to do her own live video. Wave, Angie. Say hello. Ha ha. So we're gonna make Angie do a live video anyway because she she thinks she knows everything and we're gonna we're gonna get her. But see, Paul tried to duck out of the camera. So we've got Paul Lancaster from Sandy State Spring Bank here. Paul, can you tell us like what is the hottest hottest uh, loan going on right now? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready. It's really hot. Okay. Um, obviously, I think is always hot. Mm -hmm. um, as far as uh, a lot of first-time buyer things, maybe FHLB, which funds seem to still be around, so that's a great program. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Sandy Spring has some gap loans yeah. that we only use um, with our products. We're probably the only ones that do it, to my knowledge. Gotcha. Um, we do either um, 2500 and 2500 or... 1.5 and 1.5. Okay. That's usually what people are looking for. No money down loans. So, Paul Lancaster, um, who we affectionately know as David as well, <laughs> from Sandy Spring Bank. So, we've got Angela Clark, who is going to do a live video whether she likes it or not, because I said so. We've got Anna Johnson Yeagers. Did I say your last name right? Say it, say it properly. Jurgens. See, I don't know too many black folks with that name, so I'm sorry. <laughs> My assistant who hates being on video. Did you see? Did you did you feel that? Yeah, right. Yes, we would. I felt that in my spirit. I have to give her sushi to make her happy. <laughs> See what, it, see what it would do. Okay, so this kitchen is super, super amazing. As you can see, we have food spread all out, and we still have tons of room for entertaining. You don't have to redecorate, Angie. We were just, you, you're good. You got the sunroom behind, two extra bar stools on the side. Very, very comfortable. You've got the gas fireplace with the beautiful windows in this area. So it's just, you got hardwood floors all the way through, and I'm going to take you guys on a sneak peek upstairs. Because, of course... <laughs> Um, like I said earlier, you've got couples that are moving into these types of homes because they are looking for that amazing, amazing master bedroom and the kitchen area. So those are the predominant areas in most homes that people are looking for. So you've got, I'm going to save the master bedroom to last. So you've got this uh, Jack and Jill styled bathroom with the double sinks out here. And you got the door closures where the tub and the... Um, the commode are, which is a really nice thing. So we have more than one child. They get to have some privacy and everybody can get ready at the same time. You got a bedroom over here. Great size bedroom. Nice big windows. Love the color scheme in here. Super pretty. Got another one. So the green turf is kind of cool. That is a different way to do a headboard. So you've got double windows in here. Walk-in closet. So good, good space. We'll go back around. Once again, we're going to duck that um 
master bedroom. So you can see that later. We're going to kind of reveal it. Hey, Kyra. So you got a loft up here on this one, which is super nice. Even though you still have this open foyer area, you still get this nice size loft area. You still get four bedrooms. So the space in here is really, really crazy. I would have to ask the ladies in the office, if you took away this loft, what would the bedroom bedroom sizes be? Because sometimes that's an option that you know people should consider. But it's a super gorgeous home. I love these double sets of windows up here, bringing in all this natural light. Just keeping it nice and airy. Decorate how you choose. So, sorry. Let's see what's behind here. So we've got a nice large linen closet up here on the top level. And as you can see, guys, we have this nice big open area. So it feels so big when you come upstairs and nice and roomy. And you got elbow room and it's not a tight hallway that everybody has to descend from. Laundry is up here. Great. No one wants to throw all the all the linens over the um over the rail because that's what I do at my house. Don't judge me. We've got another storage closet here. Storage, storage, storage. Come on, people. Can't miss it. Oh, this is an amazing bedroom. Look at the size in here. And those nice big windows with this art ceiling is super pretty. Just gorgeous. You've got its own, it's got its own separate bathroom in here. And the light's not coming on. I don't know why, guys. Or maybe it's one of those warm-up lights. I'm always a fan of those. They're um, energy efficient, supposedly. But let's go back around the corner. And I'm going to take you into the master suite. Now, just to let you know, D.R. Horton does a lot of spec homes. So if you're ready to move, they do great price points. And they've had the, bed, the house all ready for you just to move in. Especially when you have leases that need to end in a certain amount of time. So you're going to walk into... You've got this nice big um, area over here where the bed is, and this is definitely a king size bed, two nightstands. You got your dresser over here, so you've got your end on the bench, and then you've got another little area, sitting area over here. Kyra, this is perfect. Oh, and just another embellishment you've got the tray ceilings in here, which is really pretty, really dressy. Once this becomes your own home, sometimes you can change the depth of the room by painting the interior wall of the um tray ceiling it makes it a little funkier a little add gives a little depth to the room which is always a fun thing now this one appears to have one big closet so we go from this end all the way around guys so it's a nice look and it's got a palladium window right over top so that's blinding me when it goes into the camera so don't worry about that but Super nice. And I do love that it has this nice little open area before you enter the closet bathroom area, which is super cool. It feels a little fancier um, to have almost like a little rotunda area. You've got this nice big closet in here. You've got this massive window over the tub, over your sunken tub. And these, you know, this tile in here is just absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. You're getting a very serene setting in this bathroom. Nice big area. I see they have a square rug down here. I would love to see a circular rug, really fancy. You've got your double sinks, as you can see, guys. Nice big area here. You definitely have room to do a laundry bin to keep everything out of the bedroom, possibly. You have got your water closet here, super cute. Um, this water closet, this door could save a marriage. Close the door, please. I don't want to talk to you. I love you to death, but that's crazy. I don't want to talk to anybody while I'm in the bathroom. And I don't want them to talk to me. Rules. But last look at this, this beautiful, beautiful bedroom. If you guys ever want to come down to uh, D.R. Horton and take a tour with me, feel free to give me a call. The ladies down here are amazing. They know their stuff. I've met them in several different communities, and they just represent D.R. Horton amazingly well. So... Just one last flash because I really love the look of this this area up here with this upper level um, open foyer, this um, loft area, which is super cute. So in my brain, if you were to get a house like this and you did not finish your basement right away, saving you a couple bucks if that was the you know option for you sometimes. Some people just want to save a couple of bucks and probably do the basement later. This could also be a great alternative area for the kids to hang out and just you know be able to have their own function and a family room gets to stay clear of the stuff 
so the kids can come up here they can do homework as you see they have a little study going on then they have a couch put a tv up on the wall a lot can happen in here and this can be their own private area and you're not screaming from the hills for them to clean up so it's always good as a parent to have these extra spaces so you've got one bedroom so you've got one two three three extra bedrooms a loft two full baths not including the master suite and um the bathroom and bedroom up here so that is just you're getting three full baths on this level you're getting four bedrooms and a loft really nice and then to, to get this bonus area i just think it's super cool of course you're going to see the light gray colors because that is the color right now that color is just prevalent um i don't care where you go if you see a remodel if you see um brand new construction nine times out of ten you're going to see this really light gray color with the white trim it is a winner um especially against the really dark wood it's just beautiful but i really i honestly can tell you i don't care what you put it against it is so neutral so cool calm it's just a beautiful color to see over and over again and you can match it with anything reds blues greens any pop of color you want to add it is really really a great color to work with so um give us give us a call we are here um to service you as far as your new construction needs we are here to service you for your move up concerns um if you're really looking to upgrade from your home a lot of people have the colonials that don't have a basement so this type of house is an amazing option to do that this house does have a basement um it's really super cute downstairs i'm not going to do the whole house though but um moving up and then we have a lot of people who are in colonials such as this and their uh, their objective is now they want to live in a rambler so so many of my builder friends are doing this rambler option and it's, it's just unreal so if you have any questions don't hesitate to call 301-934-2022 extension 541 for the pender group and like i said we specialize in new construction have a great day guys